what's up guys and welcome back to my Newcastle United career mode we're in episode 16 and in this episode we've got a match away against Crystal Palace in the last episode we played two matches um, where we actually had a victory in the last match 4-1 away against Swansea who are just up there above us um, in ninth place on 21 points each they've obviously got the better goal difference we've got an away match against Crystal Palace here and in the next few episodes we'll be moving into the January transfer window. I've already got a scout looking for pre-contract players, players whose contracts are expiring in the last six months. We can pick them up on a free, um, provided they're based outside of England and over the age of 23. So if you will be able to, to pick up a, a couple of players um, there, um, get a couple of benefits. One of the players I've had noticed is Bafatembi Gomis. He's 28, he's a little bit older than... The Newcastle policy, but he's, he's a player we've been linked with consistently, and his contract is coming to an end. Along with another player I'm really surprised about is Jeremy Menez, who's from PSG. He's a, a French right winger who I think could probably play on, on the, the right midfield as well. Um, possibly as a sort of a, a direct challenge to, to Ben Arthur. Both are, are similar players in terms of their temperament, in terms of their ability, but you know, Ben Arthur. Do you really want to replace him? I don't really think there's a huge need there, but you know he's obviously could be a, a, an option there. There's been a couple of players come out through from from Germany as well, um, which is another place we're scouting at the moment. Hopefully, we'll hear something positive come back from there. But as I say, in terms of big signings or anything like that, at the moment it's, it's not going to really be an option because we only have, as I said in the last episode, about two million to play with in terms of transfer funds. It's not enough to get a, a player. Of real quality to, to be challenging the existing first eleven there. At best, they'd be development players, you know, young players who possibly have the opportunity to prove. And even then, if they're any good, they'll have a higher price than than two million. And we've got early opportunity here with with um Davide Santon. Lacazette latches on the ball, tries to cut across to um to get it across the face of goal. Doesn't quite manage it there. Um, Crystal Palace, I'm fully aware, will be a tough team to break down. There, they you know. Their defensive abilities are obviously going to be, you know, very, very good. They're attacking. You know, they've got Marion Chamac. Not particularly threatened by him. I'll say that and then it'll score against us. But, you know, in terms of defence, you're going to expect them whenever we get the ball to um, to drop deep, to to, uh, to to get the ball and to, to try and make things happen, which is, you know, to be expected with a team of that quality trying to, to stave off, you know, relegation, trying to... To fight against, you know that that dreaded sort of going back down to the championship level. You know you want to be avoiding that. Lacazette, lovely ball there to Seem Diong. Seem Diong not quite got the pace there to to be able to, to get onto that one. And Julian Sparrow he does really well there in terms of picking up the, the ball. But that was a lovely bit of build up play there. Lacazette, you know, managed to to, to break the pace of the defenders there. Latches it on to Seem Diong, but. The pass from Lacazette to Seem Diong was a little too hard. Seem Diong couldn't make, quite manage it there. And there, Cameron Jamon, 18th minute, just latches onto a cross. Um, I think it was Santon who tried to make the interception. He's a little bit short, trying to knock the, the ball down, but didn't quite manage it. So Jerome was, was able to pick up that ball, and that's put us 1-0 uh, down away. We can pick up ourselves up like we did in the, the Swansea, Swansea City game, where we came back to win 4-1. That'd be great. Um... You know, either way, with a 2-1 victory, uh, you know, it doesn't really matter to me. At the end of the day, it's just important we start winning these matches. So, that's what I'm going to be going for here. I'm not going to be going for anything fancy. A win's a win at the end of the day. Um, it's just a case of making sure we pick up points. Because dropping points away, uh, it's probably going to be the worst things for us. Our away form has been horrendous. It, it always is with Newcastle. We never seem to do particularly well away. But at home, we should be picking up more points than we are at the moment. And that's a lovely cross. And Emmanuel Rivia getting his second goal in as many games. And Johan Gufran again providing the assist there. Um, there he is, just skipping past the defender, whipping the ball in. And Johan Gufran, it's a three assists in two games. Um, and he's done really well down that left-hand side. After a lot of criticism from me, I, I'll be brutally honest, I criticise him a lot for not doing too much in games. But it's obvious I just haven't brought him enough into the game. I haven't let him create the opportunities that he's able to do. And... On the left left hand side, he's been a real menace, and he's just as good at tracking back as well. He's done really well at that, you know, staved off opportunities where he can. They get an early shot at the goal. And Tim Cooler just 
trying to make something happen there, trying to get the ball back. But Jan Matt does really well here, gets the ball, he spots the run of Lacazette. Lacazette bombing down that side to try and pick up that ball, just loses control there. He does, he does really well to get onto the ball, you know, from from that range with with two defenders either side of him. You would expect one of the defenders to pick up the ball, but um, it doesn't quite work like that. But he did really well to pick up the ball and then just lost control of it in the last minute and then that gave the, the defence the opportunity to pick up that ball there. But again, we're doing what we did in the Swansea City game. We're, we're pressuring them, making sure they don't get on the ball too much, making sure they don't go forward too much. Certainly, Crystal Palace have, have posed more of a threat on the wings than, than Swansea City did. But, you know, we, we've got to be focused, we've got to be mindful of, of their abilities, not being disrespectful to them, making sure that they don't... Um, you know, do too much there, but we, we've got an opportunity to, to make things happen. They spot Seam De Jong again, making a lovely run. Seam De Jong has to power this one across the face of goal. And I think it was Riviere who was making the run into the box there. Um, De Jong doesn't quite hit that well. I think it was Riviere um, or possibly Lacazette um, trying to latch up onto that one there. But didn't quite have the pace to manage it there, but Chiote and Jerome challenging the ball. Jerome wins that one. But you know, again, down the wings, they've done really well. They've been dominating in sort of that that side. They whipping another ball and Tim Krul equal to that one, fortunately. That's a lovely ball to Ben Arthur. Ben Arthur picks up the ball. Seems young. Holding off the challenge there. Tries to hit to Riviere. Riviere throw on goal. And the defence just manages to clear that one away. They did really well there. It was an overhead bicycle kick trying to get the ball away. It worked. But um, that's a lovely through ball. And Riviere almost had that one, you know, fired towards towards the goal. Whether the goalkeeper would have saved it, I don't know. Julian Sproni, good goalkeeper. You know, does does what he needs to do most of the time. Um, but, you know, Riviere and Lacazette, they're two very good strikers. Both of them doing well so far. Lacazette on seven goals this season. Um, Emmanuel Riviere, I'm not too sure how many he is. He is on. We'll have to take a look at that. Um, once we get the squad report in the, the January transfer window. But, you know, both of them doing well. A lot of players contributing goals, contributing in terms of their abilities. But, you sort of want something more to happen. Here's Lacazette again on the ball, does really well. Tries to play that one in. Riviere teases back, tries to put the shot in, but, you know, he was tracking back with that one, but he picks up that ball again. There's Ben Arthur. Ben Arthur now on the ball. Ben Arthur being hounded by three defenders. He just knocks that one out of play, which is a little bit unfortunate. But, um, you know, Ben Arthur, he's coming to the game, done well, trying to make things his own. Ben Arthur and Riviera, two players who've, who I think, in my opinion, have, have linked up quite well. Um, there's Goufran again. Goufran plays a lovely ball to De Jong. De Jong tries to just flick it over. He, he tried a little bit of trickery there, which didn't quite work. Davide Santon manages to pick up the ball. He's got to cross it in. Tries to, and then Speroni just gets up above uh, Seam De Jong, and Seam De Jong unable to get his head on that one. But 1-1 one, one at half time, that's not a that's not a bad result. I'm not going to change the team too much. I don't think there's, there's too much. Um, you know, I think we, we've definitely got goals on this in this, the second half. I definitely think we've got an opportunity. We did it against the game in, against Swansea City. We we came out of the, the blocks early on in the second half. Got got ourselves up to two one, and from there we we sort of made positive games. But we had the kickoff in that game, so you know, obviously it's, it's going to be a little bit more difficult because they're going to be on the front early on. Tim Krul making a fantastic save there, plucking the ball out of the air, and now we've got an opportunity. There's Ben Arthur. Ben Arthur on the ball does really well, but the um, the midfield there from, from Crystal Palace did really well there. And that's a lovely bit of play there. Riviere tries to make that one go, but the goalkeeper makes a fantastic save there. He just rushes out to meet that ball. Um, Riviere tries to sort of pass him, but doesn't quite manage it. And that's absolutely fantastic. Here's Marion Chamac. Player I said we hope wouldn't score against so us. Think provide the assist for the for the opening goal, but hasn't managed to score passes yet, which is good for me because it makes me sound like an idiot if they do. But Riviere trying to hold off the challenge with the ball, still going. Tries to whip that one in. That gets us a corner. Dion Gufran's time to shine really. Um, needs to whip this one in. Does really well. And lifts lifts that one in. Yangan Biwa gets his head onto it, but Julian Sproni gets down low and to grab that one. There wasn't too much power on it. So it was obviously easy for the goalkeeper, but in set piece, 
opportunities you know if the goalkeeper makes a mistake it leaves an open goal so that's that's what you you sort of hoping for but again the crystal palace attack they've done really well so far you know they've, they've tormented us in, in terms of getting down the wings we've not been too strong down that hand side um which is obviously giving them opportunity par doing really well in the, the midfield just cycling past the the, the the new pass and defense there we managed to get a foot in there that's a chopper chance for us to break seems young trying to play the ball there but doesn't quite manage because he gets challenged at the last minute and we've got you know decent opportunities to counter attack because they're committing players forward um and that's obviously giving us the opportunity to go on the attack young gufran there's a lovely ball to see De Jong. there's riviere riviere spots ben arthur making the run ben arthur now on the run and then again tries to control the ball it doesn't quite work out par picks up the ball par star player for, for crystal palace he plays an absolutely lovely ball there and there's jerome again making a nuisance of himself but gang and me where darley and matt Colaccini do really well to to control that one there here's lacazette moving sort of to a to a wide position to try and make things happen tries to play through to, to Ben Arthur but Parr again all over the pitch today absolutely everywhere and done really well there there's Jerome again picking up the ball I think my player so far for this match is, it has to be Parr he's done really well you know absolutely fantastic player so far he's dominated in terms of those sort of opportunities and there he is again we just try and knock that ball forward um, doesn't quite manage it there Chris Powell's defence again do really well in terms of knocking that ball there and there's Parr the just whenever That's you know you've, 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 you've spotted him he's been in cross, threatening positions or just managing to latch onto a ball and there's Riviere Riviere plays a lovely through ball trying to get through to Ben Arthur it doesn't quite work out um, defence tracking Ben Arthur the whole way which makes it difficult but there's Yannick Bellassi Yannick Bellassi again a good player you know not, doesn't score too many goals but he's definitely a threat with his pace and tries to play that ball to Lacazette it's a little bit too hard there um, I think I need to make some changes because I know the players are quite tired so I'm going to bring on the threat of Remy Cabella on for Seam De Jong but that's the only change I'm going to make for the time being um, I possibly might bring on Van Nieto in the last 10 minutes but for now I'm happy with the way the team's going I think we can you know nick a result provided power doesn't create too much which he has been creating chances you know as long as we can keep him quiet I'd be fairly happy and actually gives a decent opportunity because we have done well going forward here's Remy Cabella hold on the ball early on plays it to Jan Matt Jan Matt over to Ben Arthur there's Parr again we just managed to slide past him on, on that occasion there Riviere now tries to play to to, to Seam De Jong I think it is offside Seam De Jong did really well I don't know how far offside he was a leg or so offside but Offside's offside at the end of the day. That's a lovely sort of kick from from Julian Sproni there, just knocking it forward to the to the Crystal Palace forwards. I think it's Yannick Velasi, Maro and Chamak who are playing in that, that the two forward positions there. Um, they've done well so far. They've they've created their own opportunities, but we've we've definitely you know created a fair few opportunities ourselves. You know, if we can if we can get a late goal, that'd be absolutely fantastic. So we're, getting, we're, we're trying to knock the ball through to, to, to the forward, so we're doing really well in, in moving forward, moving with the play. But so far, I haven't quite been able to manage it. And it's just Tom Ince there, just gliding past the um to Dede Sanfon, just really well. We managed to get a block on it, which is fantastic. They just glide through our defence, and that's a fantastic save from Tim Krul there, does really, really well. I think that was Joel Ledley um, who managed that one. Yeah, there's Joel Levy again on there. I think, yeah, Murray's come on for uh, Cameron Jamon, which is you know benefit for us because Jamon scored the first goal, um, did, did really well there, broke through our defence. But what we need to do now is we need to be making sure that we're um, we're clearing our own. It was offside there. Yang and B were early on the ball. Plays to Benarfa. Benarfa over to Tiote. Lacazette there on the ball. Lacazette again losing out there. Trying to make things happen but they haven't quite managed it so far. That's their ball. I think this will probably be a, a, 
a 1-1 draw. But I'm going to go ultra attacking. I'm going to go for the win. I think it's important that we do that. I don't think we should be settling for that. Davide Santon again just making a mistake there. That's a lovely clearance there. Did really well. We're on the counter attack now. Cheik Teote now on the ball. There's Remy Cabella. He's through on goal. Does he have the pace? He does. Remy Cabella. Tries to make things happen. Doesn't quite work out. The goalkeeper makes a fantastic save. That's got to be it. Unless we can make another attack happen. We're going to try with Ben Arthur. Rivia again. Knocked off the ball by Parr. That's going to give them an opportunity for a counter attack. Which they go for. I think it's Dwight Gale. Yannick Bellassi. Colacini does really well there. Players are looking tired. We try and keep that one in. There's Ben Arthur. There's Lacazette on the ball. Lacazette trying to win that one. Doesn't quite manage it. Yeah, and the referee blows. It's 1-1. That's a, it's a good result. You know, we we came back. I think I didn't go attacking early on enough, but Emmanuel Riviere did really well there. Very equal in terms of the, the shots we've had. We were one more shot on target. Uh, a 1-1 draw away against Crystal Palace. It's as good a result as any. Yes, we would like three points, but at the end of the week, I'll complain there. We've moved up to 17. But with uh, Swansea City with the game in hand, if they win their next game, we'll drop down back to um, back to, to 10th there. As you can see there, we've got two matches in three days. So we've got um, a match against Stoke City, who are just below us on 21 points. And then we've got a match against Arsenal, who are above us in 8th. So if we win both of those matches, hopefully we'll do really well there. Um, they've said that they found all they can in Germany. So let's take a look at what they found in Germany and see what we can do there. So you've got Sebastian Rode, who's a central defensive midfielder, um, who's 23. And then you've also got Aaron Hunt, who's a central attacking midfielder, who's 27. Both players who I could see being brought in, but we've got quite a few central attacking midfielders that we have at the moment. I can't really see us um, bringing anybody in. Um, Sebastian Olsen still hasn't found anybody. Um, but again, these are the players that we've been looking for there. We've got Bath Tembi Gomes and Jeremy Menez. Bath Tembi Gomes, I'm actually going to add to my shortlist. Um, player I think would really, really help us in terms of scoring goals there. Um, so that's what I, I think we're going to go for there. Um, Yanga and Biwa, uh, Bruno Quelmanga, saying he's not getting enough opportunities there. Um, and Carl Darlow also saying he's not getting enough opportunities either, so obviously we'll have to change that. Uh, as I say, we, we were going to try and loan him out, um, which is obviously you know not quite worked out for us so far. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to end it here, and then the next match we'll have a double header of Stoke and Arsenal, and then hopefully once we get to that, we'll be at the end of December and we'll be going into the um, the we'll be going into the January transfer window. So thank you very much. In for your watching. life, have you no. ever witnessed anything well, quite like that? Well, we're saying you know what a season, what a day, what a game. Don't forget to click subscribe for all the latest videos.